Here's our second example of drawing field lines. A positive charge 2q is held on a horizontal plane, and a negative charge negative q is held left of it. Sketch the electric field lines to represent the electric field around the two charges. So here's our negative q to the left and our positive q to the right. Negative q will have to have half the field lines of the 2q. So let's say four field lines for negative q and that will make it eight for the 2q. The field lines leave perpendicularly to the charges so the first thing we do is draw just the beginning of the field lines. On the left side of the picture, far away from the positive charge, there will be very little influence of the positive charge. And on the right side of the picture, far away from the negative charge, the negative charge will have very little effect. So there are two easy field lines to draw to begin with. I know that between the charges the electric field will be very strong and some field lines will literally leave the positive charge to go into the negative charge. So I'm going to save three field lines on the negative Q and three field lines on the plus two Q so that I can draw this later. And so I'm left with four field lines that are going to curve away from each other so that all field lines that can escape the picture are equally spaced at infinity. There, I've drawn my other four field lines and you can see that as it spreads out to infinity eventually my field lines will be equally spaced. Now let's draw the middle part. Dense field lines in the middle to indicate a strong electric field. All that's left is to add the arrows. Field lines point away from positive charges and towards negative charges. We're done! Spread the joy of physics!